Hey everyone, I want to show up a little prototype I've been working on. Imagine you have an ESP home based device, something that reads sensor values or uh, interface with an actuator in some way, but this ESP home based device might not actually live in the same network as your home assistant or your smart home. Let's say um, you have like a garage somewhere, like a storage unit somewhere, or a trailer or something. Maybe you want to put a device into your parents' home, something like that. So how do you get your ESP home device to connect to your smart home uh, somewhere else. Uh, so like I put together this, um, what I call a micro VPN, and it's, it's just a prototype right now. What it allows you to do is you can deploy an ESP home based device anywhere in the world. The only thing that it needs is an internet connection, Wi-Fi of some sorts. And then you can transparently connect your home assistant to this ESP home device with very little setup required. Um, I want to walk you guys through the setup process to show how easy it is. I have this ESP home based uh, test microcontroller up here and it shows offline because it's actually not connected to my local area network like most of these other microcontrollers here, but instead it is connected to my guest Wi-Fi. So it I can't actually talk to it at all with my Home Assistant instance. So to set this up, we need to open the configuration here and I've prepared this already for us. There's a couple of things that we need to pull in here. First of all, we need to set these substitutions and then we need to pull in this ESP link package. And right now this is locally in my on my ESP Home instance, but this could be a Git base package that you can pull in from GitHub somewhere or something like that. Um, so anyone could easily set this up in their ESP Home based microcontroller. The only thing that we do need to configure here is the private key. Keep in mind that since this is just a prototype, there is a couple of manual steps that I have to do here. Um, but uh, anything that I do in a console would, in a final kind of product or service would be completely hidden away from the user. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a, a private public key pair. Okay, so what I've generated here is a file that contains my private key and then it outputted the public key onto the console. I am going to just output the private key here as well so we can copy it away. So the one thing that we need to do is like we need to store this private key here as the secret. We're going to just paste this in here and I'm going to save. Okay, what you can see here is basically an overview of the back end um, of my micro VPN server. So in the top left corner, you can see uh, the WireGuard instance, the WireGuard server uh, accepting connections from the ESP home. Um, in the top right, you can see an overview of all the active connections to the back end. Uh, in the bottom right, you can see uh, an output of all the Redis keys, the uh, parts of the server, so to say, pull their state and configuration from Redis. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to uh, add the configuration for the WireGuard server um, using the public key that we have just generated. So as we can see, um, WireGuard has actually added this peer with the correct allowed IP address. The next thing that we need to do is we need, need to create a route from our front end to this WireGuard um, peer. Oops, uh, so <laughs> I forgot to actually provide the correct command here. So now um, it's time to flash our microcontroller uh, with the ESP Home firmware. So using this configuration here, let's verify that we've set the secret correctly. Yes, we have. So this will compile this YAML and then download the binary and then we will flash the binary. Okay, the uh, firmware was built and uh, now we're gonna download it. And uh, we're not going to use uh, ESP Home Web, but instead we're going to use uh, another project of mine, the ESP Home Progressive Web App, which is like a standalone interface for configuring and provisioning and controlling ESP Home-based devices without the need of 
um, an ESP Home instance or a Home Assistant instance. So we are going to connect to the microcontroller via USB and we are going to install the firmware that we have just downloaded. And once this firmware is installed, it should directly connect to the WireGuard endpoint that we have just set up. Okay, the firmware is installed. Let's see. There we go. We've just received the WireGuard handshake. You can see there is a UDP connection and we've received and sent some data. That is good. So let's try to connect with Home Assistant. To be able to connect with Home Assistant, we again need the private key. And then here in Home Assistant, in the ESP Home integration, we click Add Device. The host name is dev. And the port is the port that we configured here earlier. Put 30,000 here. Let's connect. There we go. It's asking for the encryption key. We'll just paste the encryption key that we have. Just copy it. And there we are. We are connected. As you can see, the sensor here, it randomly updates with a random value every few seconds, and that is correctly working. Awesome. Uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions and if you would like to check out the service for yourself once it is ready, there's a link in the description that will take you to a waitlist that you can sign up for. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys.